This is Town Square Sunday On Demand. And now, 1420 WBSM's Jim Phillips. Wesley Financial Group is not a law firm. Are you a victim of the timeshare trap and think there's no way out? I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, and I'm here to tell you that there is a way out. I will send you a timeshare exit information kit absolutely free, explaining how the timeshare industry works and your options for cancellation. Get the facts for your free timeshare exit info kit. Go to iCancelTimeshare.com. That's iCancelTimeshare.com. iCancelTimeshare.com. Good morning and welcome to Town Square Sunday. This program highlights individuals and organizations seeking to make Grady New Bedford a better place to live and work. I'm your host, Jim Phillips. This morning, we are speaking with a New Bedford icon, a New Bedford cultural icon, Candida Rose Baptista, perhaps better known as Candida Rose. She's been singing locally for many years. She has now written a book on local Cape Verdean culture and music. We'll tell you how that all came about. We'll talk about the book in just a few moments, but Candida, it's great to have you here and welcome. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Jim, for having me here today. I'm so so thrilled to be here. It's been a while. I've been waiting. <laughs> I've been wanting to get to you for a little bit. So thank you for having well, me here. I, I, all you really have to do is ask. And I tell <laughs> that people all the time. You know, it's easy. Just send me an email. Jim.Phillips at townsquaremedia.com. And uh, you'll have every opportunity uh, to get on the show here. It's Beautiful. Kind of fall in the guidelines of what you're doing. We do a lot of... Uh, local authors yes and we certainly do a lot of local celebrities of which you are one. Oh my goodness <laughs> um, so when did you first start singing and thinking about it as a career wow okay well thinking about it as a career i would say i have been singing professionally since the mid 80s mm-hmm. so i you know i tell everybody i mean i've been singing for as long as i can remember um six, seven, and I actually started doing talent shows, um, I would say maybe at the age of, I don't know, 10, 12, mm-hmm. something like that. So so I've been thinking about it, um, to do it as a profession for a long time. But I would say um, 19, I want to say 1986, 1988 is when I really started, you know, getting paid <laughs> yeah, sure. for my for my voice. <laughs> uh, and... Um... Were there other singers in your family? Did you learn all this from someone else? So I didn't have singers in my family, but I do have some musical folks. Um, you know, my brother played guitar. Um, um, two of my cousins, or now three, but uh, my, I have cousins that are very well known as drummers. Maybe Jackie Santos sure. um, and Joaquin Santos. Those yeah. are both my cousins. Jackie's my first cousin. So, um, so I think we have uh, definitely have a musical uh, musical family. All right, the rhythm is sort of in us. <laughs> and um, of course, uh, say in the Cape Verdean culture, there's there's always uh, some music around. There's always that joy. There's always that expression of uh, happiness yes uh, that seems to be now, not everything i'm sure in everyone's life is we can call happy but the fact is the cape verdean culture seems to have a great deal of uh, uh, music and happiness in it yes and that's a that's a great thing how did that culture influence you and your music i mean was it just there and you kind of picked up on it or tell us? Yes. So um, I'm, you know, born into a, you know, Cape Verdean community, Cape Verdean culture. Um, there was always music of some kind uh, in the house, whether it was Cape Verdean music or whether it was, you know, our, our R&B, which is what I grew yeah. up with as well. Um, and, but just, you know, all of the, I, I went to a lot of Cape Verdean dances with my parents because sometimes I had to. Um, <laughs> but I was also, you know, um, just having the influences of my 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 aunts and my parents and um, you know just different people and within the community. Always going to places like you know the Vets Hall or the band club. Um, there were always uh, there was always events. Uh, different kinds of things for the young, for the young people always um, growing up. So it was always, it was always there. Um, and it sort of just continued to, to grow in me as, as I grew as well. Mm-hmm. 
Um, I know you performed, you have performed a lot locally, uh, and that's, that's a wonderful thing, but where else? Uh, have you gone outside the, the, uh, your, your home area, so to speak? I know you have. Absolutely. Yeah. I actually have performed in Cabo Verde several times, mm-hmm. um, starting in, let's see, 2006. I performed in 2006 as a background singer, actually, for um, Tiny Tavares of the famed Tavares group. Sure. And then I went again in 2007, um, sang for the Creole Jazz Festival in 2014, and then uh, went back for, and did research, actually, for the book that you talked about earlier in the mm-hmm. introduction um, in 2016 and, and performed there in 2016 as well. So. And then, so that's not, not only that, so I performed in Cabo Verde, but I also, um, as a representative for the Whale Museum, I performed in places like Hawaii, Alaska, um, you know, play, different places within New England area as well, um, as uh, it was uh, the Echo Project and it was the uh, Performing Arts Festival. And there was a bunch of us that kind of got together and brought our, our cultures together and brought them up to all these different places. So. Um, yeah, so I've had the, had the opportunity to sing in quite a few different places. Sure. So you have been singing since a child, since you were a child, and you haven't stopped singing. You're still performing. Today. Oh yes, absolutely. Okay. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'll be performing, um, you know, this week. <laughs> yeah. All right. uh, and la- last week, I'm always like every day. I'm usually performing almost every day. Somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> okay. um, now, you've recorded. You handed me a couple of discs before the show started, mm-hmm. and that's that is a sign of someone who has been doing this a while and has uh, finally earned the break to have a disc or shown the perseverance to have a disc. Yes, yes, it's not an easy, it's not easy, yeah. <laughs> not an easy road. Um, and uh, uh, most of these, uh, one of the discs is entitled "Here I Am," Candida Rose, and Candida Rose uh, uh, call. Uh, Cabo Maracana, which is the sum of me. Yes, and that happens to be the title of your book. But we'll we'll, we'll get to that. Um, so, and these look like, for the most part, Cape Verdean songs. Well, so the first one, the um, the Cabo Maracana, the sum of me, yep. which is which was um, released in two thousand six. So it was my that was my first CD. So yes, that one is a combination of my sort of Cape Verdean rooted um, influences um, combined with my American influences, right? So I call this combination Kabu Jazz. So mm-hmm. you might hear me um, sing uh, sort of a standard jazz song, but with a Cape Verdean sort of undertow, right? Yep. Um, musical undertow, and then vice versa. You might hear me sing um, a Cape Verdean song, but maybe with a, a jazz influence. And so that's the first CD. And then the second CD is more um, about my musical, cultural, and spiritual journey. So there's not a whole lot of sort of Cape Verdean songs on there. There's a, There are a couple, but most of them is sort of just, again, sort of eclectic mix of whether it's jazz or whether it's maybe popish or even I even have Ave Maria on there. So there's a, it just kind of captures this, my, my journey, this, mm-hmm. you know, and, and there's so many different influences. And it, a lot of it is, is spir- a lot of what um, my journey is is spiritual as well. So I wanted to capture that in a, in a CD. So, um, you mentioned uh, your musical journey and your cultural journey, and you you also mentioned spiritual. Mm-hmm. Tell us a, a little bit about that. So, um, I mean, I you know I grew up in um, basically a Catholic family because you know a lot of most Cape Verdeans um, in general are sort of a raised Catholic, um, but I have always been sort of a seeker and. Um, so, you know, of course, that foundation has always been in me. Uh, and then, but, you know, looking at where, what, what does spirit mean for me? And, um, you know, I spent 25 years in a Baptist church, Union Baptist church. Um, and, but I'm still sort of trying to find, you know, that 
what's spiritual and what's religious. And that's what I'm trying to, right now, I'm, that's, I think, what the CD, some of the CD songs is more, I'm singing more from a spiritual place as opposed to a religious place. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah. You're listening to Town Square Sunday. I'm Jim Phillips. My guest is Candida Rose Baptista. She is a local singer and now an author. And I said before, she was a New Bedford icon. She is a New Bedford icon. Um, so, Tell us about the book, uh, Cabo Americanas, The Some of Us. What, uh, what, how did this come about? Let's start there. Okay. Well, um, so we talked a little bit about Cabo Americana, The Some of Me, which is basically, um, so Cabo Americana is this uh, catch, catchphrase for a Cape Verdean American woman, right? And then The Some of Me is like a little bit of everything that makes me who I am. And so for the, I would say, nine, 10 years after the CD came out, I was, you know, going around singing, educating about Cape Verdean culture and blah, blah. But, um, and all of that made me, like I started, I, I, in 2006, the CD came out after I graduated from UMass Dartmouth in 2005. So all of those influences went into the CD. What it made me want to do more of is do some more research into the the culture, my heritage, my background, what makes me who I am, and understanding that I stand on the shoulders of so many amazing uh, Cape Verdean, um, Cape Verdean and Cape Verdean American musicians and vocalists. Some of them right here in New Bedford, and so. When I went to, I went and did a uh, my master's. So I decided that I wanted to go do a master's uh, in ethnomusicology. That's not the, the path that I ended up taking was a uh, it was transnational cultural and community studies. So it's not just about music. It was it was also about culture, and that allowed me to dig dig deep. And so I did some research on um, some uh, the some of the Cape Verdean. I, names, you talked about icons, right? So some of the Cape Verdean icons from um, the New England area, you know, I talk a little bit about people like Horace Silver and Paul Gonzalez. And um, I talk about people like Toy Grace and Johnny Duart and uh, Freddie Silver and people All like that. icons in their own field. Absolutely, absolutely. And so um, so the book was is actually based on my capstone work, which was a, I did a, a concert um, I did a sort of multimedia presentation concert, and then I did a, a, a what they called I called the capstone booklet that had the lyrics, um, it had some the history, and they had like my thirty two page. It wasn't really a thesis; it was more of a narrative. And so, what I wanted to do is I wanted to be able to once I graduated, um, I had this booklet. So, what do I do with this booklet with all of this amazing information that was in it? that I wanted to share. You know, when you graduate, you want to disseminate the, the information. And so I got an opportunity in 2022 to um, be the artist in residence at the um, New Bedford Wheeling National Historical Park. And that sort of gave me the catalyst to take the booklet and sort of make it into a book. It took a couple of years for me to get it to that point, but here it is. Um, and Cabo Medicanus, for some of us, as you can see, is um, is Cabo Americanus, almost like U.S., and the sum of us, the United States, and it's exploring the Cabo Verde United States musical connection and legacy. And uh, that's a significant topic. That is a topic that, as you've already mentioned, has a lot of folks, not only just folks that we know here, but throughout the country, especially in areas like Probably Providence in mm-hmm. California. Yes, there, yes, yes. There, there's talent there. Yeah. In July, from my, I was remiss to mention July Gonzalez, who, of course, was just a, a, a stalwart and, yeah. Yeah, and did so much, again, not only, like you said, locally, but nationally as sure. well. So, yeah. So, um, you want to get the word out about the culture and the music for sure, but you want the word out about the culture. This is what you studied and worked on. Uh, and uh, the book is available now. 
Yes. Where? Yeah. So <laughs> you can get it through me <laughs> directly yeah. if you want to, but it's also available on, on Amazon.com. So if you do Amazon.com and search for Candida Rose or search for Cabo Americanus, um, I'll spell it, right? So it's K A B U M E R I K A N U S. Right. And if you if you put that in as um, in a search in Amazon, the book should come up. Um, but also, you can find it on my um, on my website, which is candidarose dot net. Mm-hmm. And um, on October tenth, if anybody wants to get something from me directly, if I can say this, sure, I will be um, doing a book reading uh, um, uh, during Aha Night at Celia's Boutique from. Five to seven p.m. Okay. Yeah. So All right. You, no. Then the book public appearance, little yes. book signing, a little you book signing. You use, you'll sign a few books. I'm yes. Sure. Mm-hmm. All right. That's fine. Um, you still enjoy performing? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, this is what I do. Um, this is my life. Um, I do this under my business, Golden Rose Music, and um, I've been doing it now full time since two thousand five. So we're talking almost. Almost, almost twenty, 20 almost, almost twenty years. You were singing before then, though. But okay. I was. I've been singing. Yeah, yeah. like I said, uh, since, since I was girl. a little girl. <laughs> uh, but in terms of like having a business and doing it full time, I well, I would say the business started in two thousand five, and I was been doing. So during the day, I sing for nursing homes, assisted living, adult daycare centers, senior centers. So that's what I do every day, and I've been doing that for. Yes, 17 and a half years mm-hmm. full time. Um, so it's busy life, busy life. But also there's, you know, I have a, I have my band um, that I work with, Couple Jazz Ensemble, where we, we actually had the chance um, very recently to sing um, at the, uh, with, uh, in, in concert with a, a New Bedford Symphony Orchestra at the New Bedford High School um, so has that I, happened, or will it, it, it happened? Uh, yes, yeah, already happened. It was on the twenty eighth of September. Oh, that must have been delightful. It was so 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 much fun. It was, there was a jazz group. Was, they called it the New Bedford Collage, and uh, it was definitely a, a collage of a lot of lots of these all these beautiful things that all these this beautiful music that New Bedford has to that offer. Worked. So yeah, that worked. okay. Candida Rose Baptista is her name. Candida, a very popular local singer. She now has written a book about her own history and music and culture and people who helped her along the way, I'm sure. Candida, thanks very much for coming in. Thank you for having me. Good luck with the book. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Stay right here. Town Square Sunday will continue in just a moment. Shop Macy's VIP sale going on now. Use your coupon or Macy's card and take an extra 30% off the latest fall trends from designers that rarely go on sale. And save 15% off skincare, makeup, fragrances, and more. Plus, shop fall specials for even more great deals on top brands at Macy's. Savings off regular and already reduced prices. Exclusions apply. 